Alrighty, number nine. We have lots of options for this one. I'll just show you two ways to solve each problem. So the first one's 3.5 divided by 0 0.7. So if I want, I could use our long division strategy. So I have 3.5, sorry about my handwriting, divided by 0 0.7. So I'm estimating it's going to be like maybe four times. So I'll try multiplying by four first. So four times 0 0.7, four times seven is 28. So it's 2.8. And if you need to, you can use your moving decimal trick to figure out where that decimal is gonna go in your answer. So I'll subtract the 2.8. got to do a little borrowing. Is that right? Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I see I have 0 0.7 left. So that means I need to do a 1 over here. I'm going to multiply it one more time. You don't have to write this equation if you already know it, if it's super obvious. Okay, so I've divided out all my numbers. Now I just add up over here, and my total answer is 5, because 4 plus 1 is 5. Ta-da! So that's a way you could use long division. Another way you could do it is you could use the blocks. So I'm going to click on block app and I'm going to put 3.5, okay. And I'm dividing it into groups of 0.7. So I want to put 0 0.7 in each group. So I'm going to start with these. So that's 0 0.5, 5 tenths. I'll break up this one. I'll put 2 tenths more. All right, there's one group of 0 0.7. I bet I can make another one. So I'll select seven of these. There's another group. And you just keep doing it. I'm going to go a little bit fast because I think you guys probably get the idea. Okay, so I've made some groups. In total, I have one, two, three, four, five groups. So I can successfully say 3.5 divided by 0 0.7 equals 5. Then I would just take a screenshot of my work and bring it over here. So now I've showed my work on the first one in two different ways. And of course there are other ways to show your work. I'm just showing you two quick examples. Now the next one is multiplication. So it's 3 tenths times 8 tenths. So I gave you one option over here, which is you could make 3 tenths and then 8 tenths. And you could look at the part where they overlap. So that's 27 hundredths. So you could use that tool to show me your multiplication. You could also use a moving, oopsies, a moving decimal trick. So you could say... Oops, I'm going to draw this really big. 3 tenths, 8 tenths. All right, and I'm going to use my moving decimal. So I'm going to make that 3 holes, 8 holes. And 3 times 8, as I'm sure you all know. Ooh, Mrs. E messed up. That's not 2.7, that's 2.4 because three times eight is 24. This is why you should always double check your work. So 2.4. So I'm going to move my decimal point 
I we're gonna try this whole thing again. Yeah. All right. So three times eight equals twenty-four. And right now my answer is twenty-four holes. So I move the decimal point one time and two times before I multiplied. After I multiply, I have to move it one time and two times back. So my answer is 0.24. And people usually just put the zero here to make it really clear that it's a decimal. So that's the way that you could use the moving decimal trick. For that one, make sure that you grab a piece of paper and actually draw the arrows. I will only count it as showing your work if you draw the arrows and show how you did it. All right, that's the last one.